Right, so I'm going to go through some basic tools in Fusion that you might want to use to complete your projects. Uh, these are not the exact steps that you need to follow, but you can use them as appropriate to uh, achieve what, what you intend. Uh, so we're going to start with Sketch. And I'm going to choose a plane. And I'm going to make sketches of two parts. So I'll make a rectangular here. And then I'm going to make a slot here. All right. And then I'm going to choose the line tool. And I'm going to make another part here. this okay so now I have two close um, sketches I'm gonna go out of sketch so here is my sketch I can edit by doing this but I don't want to edit right now I want to create two bodies and I want to use extrude tool so I have new body and I'm gonna choose the sketches I want to extrude them by 10 millimeters and now I have two 3d bodies extruded now if I want to assemble them I need to create two new components so I go from new component from body I choose this one I can now component one I do it again for the second one and now I have two components and I want to join them together. I will use joint, rigid joint, and I'm going to choose what exactly I want to touch or be joined. So I am going to use this edge here and this edge here. And now it comes together and is rigid, rigid, rigidly joined and I'm happy with it right for the simulation now we're gonna choose the appropriate tab and we're gonna choose static stress create study now, I'm going to turn this around. And in the slides on now, you have to create a new material. You're going to do that through Manage Physical Materials. Um, you're going to go through here and go create new materials. However, I've already done that. You can see how you can do that in the slides. Um, I believe is uh, term to lab three where you put the properties for the specific material uh, in a linear elastic model. So I'm not going to do that again now, uh, but I am going to choose a material. So in this case, we want to put, so we're going to choose the one I created and it's under the name default new material and the same for the other component again default new material so you can see here I've put that okay then I will create some constraints uh, I want this part to be fixed then I will put some loads, structural loads. 
so I will choose where I want to put it. I want to apply it here on this surface and it's going to be uh, one kilogram so in Newtons it would be 9.81 sorry 81 all right approximately that I want to create some contacts it's automatic contacts it will find what touches what so that is applied so I think now I'm ready to run this so I go here and I go solve and it has completed the simulation so we close that we can see this from here or from this side so this adjusted this is not actually how it looks so it's exaggerated so this is how it would actually look and I don't want safety factor I want stress distribution so I see the blue bits are parts that they don't take a lot of stress the color bits are parts with a lot of stress and this is the basic simulation if it would break it would tell me where it breaks it says where there's a maximum and where's the minimum stress uh, so i can see the displacement so it's less than a millimeter uh, really and that is the simulation Now let's say I would want to make some changes in my design because of something that I saw maybe in the simulation. I'll go back to design and maybe I go back to sketch. I try and keep all my sketches in one so I don't create a different sketch every time. And maybe I want to remove some bits. Maybe I want to make some of the parts that maybe we're carrying a lot of load or I just want to change something so maybe I could maybe make a hole um, maybe I want to do an arc like this like that Okay, finish sketch, and now maybe I want to extrude, I might turn it around, so I want to see the sketch, so I want to cut this time, so I want to choose this bit here, and maybe extend it by 10 which will create a hole and now I want to go again to simulation I have a hole now this is not up to date so when I try and solve it it's gonna tell me And now it has solved it with a new design. So it just recalculated everything. So this is actual. I close this and I see the stress again. And maybe now that I am happy with my design, I want to show it in a nice way. <clears throat> So I might go to render in order to create a really nice representation of it and you can render it so you can choose different materials so let's put materials here and maybe I choose something like maybe I go appearance And I choose wood. Maybe I go for mahogany. So now I'm going to render it. It can be rendered on the cloud. 
and I'm gonna wait for it it's gonna let me know when it's finished and this is now done I will download it from the cloud and this is a nice image that I can put in a nice portfolio So we're going to look at the manufacture function of fusion. So we want to simulate the process that happens in uh, laser cutter. We want all our parts to be laid out as they would be in, in the laser cutter bed. So we're going to go back and have them all laid out. And then we're going to choose manufacture. And then we're going to choose cutting option. We're going to select our tool. And we want laser cutter. Then we want to choose our parts. I'm going to start inside to have an inclusion here. Press OK. And then I'm going to simulate. All right. 